Good day, YouTube. One MJ here, and welcome back. All right, Friday evening here in Australia. Market still just sort of traveling sideways again, around that 2.7 trillion, just a little bit under. We get up there, then we fall down below. <laughs> really, just some sideways movement at the moment. But when things are moving sideways, uh, it is good for altcoins. They generally do well. Look at the BTC dominance. It really is starting to drop. And so, <laughs> are we about to have this crazy kind of alt season? that everyone is expecting. It's definitely looking like it on the BTC charts at the moment, but Bitcoin itself isn't really moving. It's just kind of stuck around that kind of 57, 55-ish thousand dollar level. Can get up to 59, can drop down to about sort of 54, but I suppose 56,000. <laughs> there we go. That's a good kind of middle ground. Now the volume's down. We do have the weekend coming up, so maybe we're about to go a little bit lower gas prices i mean they have really come down so that's cheaper than we've seen in a while i think the lowest we've seen in quite some time is about seven dollars so we're not too far off from that so interesting uh what that uh might be sort of saying but yeah i don't know i'm i'm in two minds i get the feeling like we might be having a big dip coming soon Maybe this month, again, to completely shake everyone out, get people a little bit excited that this crazy old season's coming, and then boom, just whack with a big dip. That's what I, my gut feeling says that could be coming. Now, never financial advice, and I'm not saying that's what is going to happen. It's just, yeah, a, a sneaky feeling I have that by the end of December, we have a big dip. And, and when I say big, I mean 30, 40, maybe 50%. But again, no guarantees in life. I'm never offering you financial advice. It just wouldn't surprise me to really shake everyone out, particularly from the altcoins. I think they will get hammered. A lot of altcoins have been doing pretty well the last sort of month or so, and definitely sort of the last week or so. Some have done even sort of two weeks. Some have done extremely well. So it's just something I'm keeping an eye out for. But again, I'm, I'm not saying it is that's what's coming. So I don't want people to get upset if it doesn't happen. I just, there's, you know, my spider senses are tingling is a good uh, thing to say. So I'm trying to make sure I got some cash on the side to take advantage of that. But anyway, let's move on. What's done well in the last 24 hours? Because some things have done well. All right, Adam, 15%. Ravencoin, 10%. Rose, 10%. Stella, nice, 10%. Luna, 9%, but nearly 10%. We're not too far off. It's been on quite a run. Uh, interesting to see if it can keep going or whether it's uh, you know about to overheat. But is it getting basically ready to do something kind of like Solana and what Avalanche has done? Are we going to see Luna go like you know, $100, $200? That would be very interesting. Not saying it is what's going to happen, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, have a look at this. Matic. $2.21, up 7%. It has broken out. We're going to have a look at that soon. I was telling everyone it was coming. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. I am eyeing up to maybe $5. I think it can double its price over the next few weeks. I'm not going to say it's going to do it immediately. But if it breaks out, because what is likely to happen is it breaks out and then falls back out. It's a bit of a false breakout but then eventually it will break out. That's, again, my gut feeling we'll have to wait and see. But look, a nice gain. Cardano as well, everyone was really bearish on it. It was going down. Good projects will eventually find their way back up. They got to come down to a point that's enough to shake everyone out and make, you know, the more educated go, this is a good buy-in price, and then it'll start to make its move. You know, quality projects will go quiet for a while, but eventually they will always make a move because they're quality projects. Just need to keep that in mind. All right, what hasn't fared so well though? Because the market is basically traveling sort of sideways. So there we go, Waves is down, uh, Olympus is down, uh, AVAX is down, Gala's down, Curve. Look, we got a number of coins that are down there, but nothing kind of too bad. Like seven, you know, basically 8% is the worst uh, downwards move in the top 100 that's not too bad really considering most of these coins have pumped pretty hard over the last few weeks i mean look at avax avalanche that is you know a hundred bucks that is quite nice but that's down seven percent and i think it's all-time high uh, was about 120 115 something like that i could be wrong but I, obviously over a hundred dollars because it's down seven percent and over that at the moment but that's what i'm keeping an eye out for again you know <sighs> Things are getting, you know, a little bit dicey. You know, some things up, some things down. And yeah, I really am just waiting to see where some coins are going. Uh, 
And again, is Luna getting ready to break that $100 mark? Can we see basically a 30 plus percent sort of move from where it is? It's at 67 to break into that $100 mark like a lot of these other kind of, you know, good quality layer ones are at. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Or is Luna's move done and is it getting ready to, you know, have a... a basically a bit of a retracement we'll wait and see all right let's go to the bitcoin chart and have a look so here we are and it looks like bitcoin again is going to probably come back and retest this so i'm going to say maybe fifty five thousand dollars could be a good place to buy now again i just get the feeling like this is a bit of a double top and i don't think it's going to be like some severe double top where you know we go into this like legit bear market that lasts a year but i would not be surprised if we don't have a big move and maybe come back down and retest something like this 39,000 again really shake people out and just get them really scared look maybe even down here $36,000 before we make our next move up now again I'm not saying that is what's going to happen I just again my spider senses are tingling saying nah people are getting too bullish and everyone's expecting this to happen so there will probably be a good move and again, this is where I'm looking back down here to sort of 39,000 and maybe even sort of down here around the 36, 35,000 dollar level would not surprise me because look, we've had some sort of confluence down here again, maybe even sort of, yeah, I'd say there around about sort of 36, 34,000 dollars would not surprise me. So my advice is have cash on the side for if this happens, but chances are probably more likely we bounce off here and start to make another move up. But no guarantees in life, we'll wait and see. A couple of stories I want to focus on. DeFi is still a worry. DeFi disaster, $31 million drained from MonoX and Badger Dow losses now top $120 million. DeFi is generally the places that get hit the hardest. They're the ones where all these, you know, I mean, there's some rug pulls happening there as well uh, and they're just getting hacked. So there really is only, everyone keeps jumping into these new DeFi projects and they're forgetting about these old ones because they're just not new and all the rest of it. But a lot of these old ones that have been around for a while haven't been hacked. And it's not to say they never will, but if they've made it this far without a hack, they're probably getting pretty good projects. So again, for me, I like to really focus on the good ones. Yeah, you can get some crazy gains and all the new kind of flashy things that come out. But unfortunately, a lot of this is happening and somebody has to lose that money. It's not always simply going to be the, you know, the, the DAOs themselves that lose the money. They will pass that on to... Uh, people using those projects and things like that you know sometimes you can get lucky in the Dow says we got it we can cover it all but yeah 120 million we'll have to wait and see right India so much FUD coming from there they're going to ban it they're going to ban it and now of course they're not and I said this ages ago they are going to regulate it not ban it they just want to make sure that people aren't going to get ripped off and mainly that the government can get their fair share, their taxes and all those kind of things. That is honestly what most governments are worried about, that they won't be able to get their taxes from it. Once they work out how to do that, then they're not going to care too much about crypto. But don't get me wrong, they'll still want to go after the bad players and the scams. They have to, to you know, keep their people happy. But it is more about the taxes. They simply don't want to miss out on their fair share. And as long as they're getting their fair share, they're not going to be too worried that they don't control it. It is more about a monetary value, getting their, again, getting their cut. That's really what it is. Right, Chile, another country. So lawmakers in Chile are currently working towards recognizing Bitcoin as a legal means of payment. Now there's also politicians and lawmakers over there that are also looking to make a central bank digital currency. So Look, we all know central bank digital currencies are coming. They're just a fact of life, whether you're going to you know, use them a whole lot uh, or try and make any kind of savings with them. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. I'd say Bitcoin. But look, another country is moving to make Bitcoin you know, legal tender, a legal way of making payments. Again, I don't think too many people are going to do that. They're going to see it as a store of value. But at least maybe in the future, it'll be a store of value that you know maybe you can buy a house or you know maybe you can buy a car or whatever it may be. So there's upsides to it being legal tender. Uh, but again, really, I wouldn't want to buy a car with Bitcoin unless it was a real special car. You know, something that will appreciate in value, not just any old car, because they're only going to go down and cost you more money. You don't want to spend Bitcoin on things that will lose value and cost more money. So cars, not a good idea. Again, personal advice, not, uh, not financial advice. Unless they are cars that will appreciate over time, then maybe. 
but you know what are the chances they're going to out uh, run Bitcoin? You know, over the kind of short to midterm, I think that's unlikely. Maybe over the really long term, you could get lucky. Now, I brought this to you the other day. Look what happened to the S and P five hundred. It went below that mark, and it has quickly rebounded as well. But we still got to wait and see. This could still roll over. This could still get ugly, and if it does. Trust me, crypto will get hit. But it was good to see that, I mean, it wasn't good to see that it went under this level. That was scary. But look where it did go down to. Again, some old kind of support, uh, resistance kind of levels, and it has bounced quite nicely from there. So keep an eye on this. No matter what happens, if stocks tank, crypto eventually will. It may not happen straight away, but eventually it will because the stock market guys are in the crypto market and they are going to want to recover those losses and trust me they will do it through crypto it's just how bad it will get but at the moment it seems like a good recovery so i.e the dip has been bought we'll have to wait and see i'm keeping an eye on this because this is really it gives me a clue of where the crypto markets are going it's not a full-on 100 percent indicator but if the stock market get hit everything else will generally get hit that's just the way it works that may change in the future but until that changes the correlation is real it's just not exact it's not 100 percent crypto market doesn't completely follow this although it does kind of rhyme with it as they say all right this is i'm so glad i was you know telling everybody about it saying don't give up it's been quiet but it's not over matic have a look at that we have a breakout now it could be a false breakout like i said that is not going to surprise me matic breaks out falls back down and comes in here comes back into this uh kind of mark but i get the feeling like it is going to break out sooner rather than later it might not it could absolutely be invalidated maybe we go lower or maybe it just keeps traveling sideways but i just get the feeling like a big move from matic is coming in the not too distant future but if the whole market gets hit then that gets invalidated but we go over here look at a verse eth and again pumps up comes down 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 and have a look where we are now looks like we might be getting ready for a breakout does it mean we're going way up to here no but it does likely mean that we're going to have a bit of a move and matic against btc same kind of thing pumps up comes back down pumps up comes back down pumps up comes back down these are all consolidation these consolidations were really short-lived but this was a bit of a, a a consolidation against bitcoin same bit of consolidation there now look at this this is big consolidation i just get the feeling like matic matic is going to make a very nice move so i'm keeping an eye out you know again i've got my bags packed i didn't have a lot of time to buy more matic uh, i was trying to get my positions in the metaverse space which you know aren't doing too well but again i'm looking more long term they will make their comeback and i'll just continue to buy the dips of the good projects but matic is looking quite nice all right that's it from me stay safe be kind to one another hopefully everyone's on that game train and if you are then you're outperforming the market because it's really traveling sideways at the moment and i'll see you next time